Hello everyone, I'm the Whiskey Enthusiast, welcome back to my channel. Today we have the Ardbeg Smoke Trails with my trusted Ardbeg glass. Now, I'm sorry, I can't remember who asked if they could have a review, review of the uh, Smoke Trails under the comments in one of the videos. Uh, if you're watching this, please raise your hand. I apologize for forgetting it. It was just in, uh, like, I think it was a couple of months ago and I was traveling. I just got back. So, uh, just, uh, let me know who you are and I would, uh, you know, I hope, I hope you're watching this. So, Smoke Trails. This is a new addition to Ardbeg's increasing number of, uh, new bottlings without age statements. And uh, I was lucky enough to be at the airport on its first day of release. I grabbed it and uh, I think it's more expensive now. So let's uh, let's give some info on it. Now, okay, I'm not going to rant about Arbeg. I used to love them, but I, I still love their core range. I think they're fantastic. Their 19-year-old is really good. Every year they batch produce it. Also brilliant. It's behind me, unreachable right now. Um, but they're, you know, uh, committee releases and, and their limited editions, they're getting a bit gimmicky and, you know, a bit dropping in quality, I might say. Now, I am a bit prejudiced about this because I don't know if you can see it. I've had this. We tried it with a, a few friends and we were not very impressed. But, you know, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Maybe it opened up. Okay. Right, smoke trails. What is it? It is, let's see, um, we zigged and zagged all over the world until we found the perfect manzanilla. I'm gonna say manzanilla. I hope I produced it correctly for this art bag travelers exclusive. It's supposed to be these batch things and, um, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna probably produce a new limited edition one every year. Even on their website, it says collectible. So again, with the gimmicks and the collectibles, Arbeg is uh, moving away from its general customer base, I'm thinking. I'll show you the bottle. It's pretty cool. One liter, 46% ABV, non-chill filtered, no color added. It's uh, American Oak and a Manzanilla. Sherry cast, it's a marriage, it's not a finishing, it's a marriage. In Arbeg Smoke Trails, we marry together classic Arbeg cast with Arbeg matured manzanilla, sherry cast, deeper pungent flavors, plums of pine, fennel, storm churned, and then you see like Spain and Napa Vila. Now, shout out to the malt activist, brilliant whiskey tuber, fantastic all around human being, cool dude, Massive art bag fan. He likes this, and he cracked the code. Uh, back in the day, there was an art bag art book. Go watch his video, and you'll see. And it was also Manzanilla cask. And he's thinking these are the leftover Manzanilla cask from uh, art book, and they fill it with uh, some art bag spirit and marry it with their ex bourbon. Art bag is much lighter and. Um, you know, uh, probably second, third fill, whatever. Manzanilla is what is a sherry. Uh, sherry is a fortified wine, and Manzanilla is a. Uh, it's kind of like a fino sherry. It's it's a white sherry. It's lighter and less sweet than, let's say, Pedro Jimenez or Oloroso. Anything else I need to know? It often imparts tangy and yeasty notes. Apparently, uh, you know. The sherry itself. Right, so let's dive in, shall we? Let's go with this um, with this art bag. Slanja. Check, check, check my check my uh, glass out. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I nicked it, so. Hmm. Okay. We get the classic art bag notes of sea spray. Very uh, iodine. Peat is there, sweet peat. Citric, zesty. I mean, it's good. It's a, it's a, it's a very classic Ardbeg nose. It's sweet, but not as sweet as Ugdal, which I love. But are you team Cory or are you team Ugi? Let me know. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, sailing rope, anything that has to do with sea, sea spray. Iodine, uh, seaweed, ashy, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna try this because Ardbeck hits more than any other when you do this trick. If you don't know, when you do this and ah, so you get more notes like this when the hand dries. Okay, I get I get bonfire. I got sausage. I got bacon, maple bacon. I mean, I don't know. Is it? That different than the uh, 10 or Wee Beastie? Okay, let's dive into the palette. Classic Art Bank nods on the palette, but um, falls a bit short. There's a hint of dry spiciness there and um, ashy notes on the mouth, but just feels short and much lighter than 46. What the hell is saddle soap? Apparently that's what you're supposed to get. Don't get that. Um, it feels unfinished. You know, I know, I know, to each his own. You know, everyone has their own palette, but it just feels a bit um, like a Baby Ardbeck, I'm even going to say, it feels uh, Ardbeck for the beginners. I thought that was an O, but uh, it's not, it's this one. It's not, uh, no, it's not hitting the notes that I want from Ardbeck. You know what? Ugh, this is the only one I can reach to. Let's, let's, let's give this a chance, shall we? Let's, uh, compare. All right, much lighter in color, I'm not gonna lie. Look at that. Look at that. By the way, Johnny Walker experience in Edinburgh, if you haven't gone, it's a fantastic place. I don't know if you can even see it. No, but it's a nice class and a fantastic experience. Totally different company. Right. Okay. So compared to our big ten, this is much sweeter. Our big ten is uh, zestier and drier and more ashy, but much more robust, heating, strong, same ABV. Obviously, this is younger, which you would think. Pete with younger age statement would hit even more, but I don't know if it's the Manzanilla cask that rounded off the Ardbeg Petiness. I don't know how many fills the casks are, but compared to the um, Ardbeg 10, hmm. okay, now I get shortbread caramel cookies. Right, okay, it's sweeter, it's buttery, it's more caramelly, it's much more approachable than any other art bag I had, including the Anu. And um, okay, so maybe it's an art bag for the masses. Shall we say that? I don't know what uh, the malt activist, uh, I, I mean, I know what he thinks, he loves it. But yeah, I don't know. I, I want my art bags to be robust and strong and hitting. This one is not that, but I can see how it would appeal to other people. Uh, I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna pull a, um, those guys at the whiskey tube. Uh, those guys at the um, whiskey tribe, sorry, not whiskey tube, whiskey tribe in, Texas, Austin, shout out to them as well. And this is the Anu. I'm just gonna see if there's any correlation there. So married together whiskey from several different casts, including new charred oak, PX cherry, and first fill bourbon. This is the um, Anu one, let's see. Uh, so no, no, no uh, cast connection whatsoever. 
Okay, so right now I can see. So ten is the most zesty, most uh, vibrant, and most dark one. Anu is a bit sweeter, and the smoke trails is really sweet compared to these guys. All right, even Anu is uh, with PX um, less sweet than the smoke trails, whereas the smoke trails is. Okay, all right, I can see the appeal of it. Now, when you compare it to the other R bags, I can see the appeal of it. You wanna give a an Isla beginner a PT but sweet whiskey, then you can go with this one. But you know, there's there's Ugdal. It It falls short on the palate. The nose is good. Nose is nice, but the palate just doesn't deliver at all. And the finish, I don't like it. Yeah, I guys, I'm I'm not gonna, you know, um, I'm gonna recommend this two Glen Cairns, uh, as in try before you buy. Uh, I bought before I tried, and um, it's not bad, but. Uh, you know, it's not making me happy. It's a uh, it's a whiskey to take to a friend's house, and everyone just can have a little, and we can be done with it. I'm glad I tried it, but it doesn't uh, change my opinion about recent art bag bottlings, where it's a bit gimmicky, and the inside is not really um, following through uh, of what it's supposed to be. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Uh, whoever requested this, I hope you liked it. I'm sorry. Um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Tell me what you would like me to review. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video, hit the like button. It means a lot. Thank you guys. See you on to the next one. Cheers.